Well, I think that one of the problems with the idea of switching from cigarettes to vaping is that we don't have a lot of evidence about the negative effects of vaping. Anyone who can quit smoking cigarettes should be congratulated for having done that. But we're not sure that e-cigarettes or vaping is a safe way to go about quitting cigarettes. So I think more work has to be done to learn about that. We know that many pa patients with asthma have triggers for their asthma. And we know that, for example, exposure to cigarette smoke, strong odors, environmental cleaners, many different things will trigger asthma. We don't have enough data from research to know exactly what the effects of vaping or the use of e-cigarettes will be on asthma. But since we do know that some of these uh, e-cigarettes contain strong chemicals, odors, flavorings, that it's very likely that they can represent triggers for asthma. But we need to learn more about this. The problem with e-cigarettes is in many cases we don't know what's in them. Propylene glycol is a common solvent that's used in the e-cigarette to um, contain the nicotine. So we know there's nicotine and we know there's the combustion products of propylene glycol. But there are many other substances that can be present in e-cigarettes and since they're not regulated, we don't know what those are. I'm very concerned about the use of e-cigarettes among young people. E-cigarettes are being used as a gateway to initiate young people into the use of tobacco products. In the United States, the concern of this is so great that last week the Food and Drug Administration of the United States asked, demanded that companies that make e-cigarettes prove that their products are not uh, being gateways to for cigarette use among young people. This is an incredibly important problem that needs to be dealt with. Well, one of the ideas that's been talked about is using vaping or e-cigarettes in the role of helping people quit smoking. There have been several studies to date that have looked at vaping as an agent to help people quit smoking and those studies have been inconclusive. I think we need to know more about this and we need to know if in fact these e-cigarettes actually are used or can be useful in helping people quit. If not, then the role of e-cigarettes e in helping quit smoking may be negligible.